Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we would be practicing for the upcoming Biowizard Tournament 5.0. So I hope you all are super excited for this event as well as Biowizard. So basically guys, Biowizard Tournament 5.0 is just around the corner on 26th July from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And it is exclusively for school students. And what you need to do, you just need to solve two coding questions that are of 200 marks and 20 quiz questions that are of 100 marks. In total, you have one and a half hour to solve the entire question set and this is a chance to, you know, showcase your coding skills and knowledge and win exciting prizes. So, I hope you all have registered for it. If you have not, in the description you would get the link. So, make sure that you register and, you know, win exciting prizes. So, I hope you all are excited. Now, without any further delay, let's start. So basically in this session we would be solving two coding problems that would be helpful for you in practicing for the upcoming BioVisit, okay. So let's start with the first problem that is leaders in an array, okay. So the pr first problem that we are solving today is leaders in an array, okay. So basically in this question we are given an array, okay. For example, let's take an example from this place, one minute. Let me scroll a little bit down, one minute. So, one minute, let's take an example that is 16, 17, 4, 3, 5 and 2, okay. So, this is an example and 17, 5, 2, okay. Now, let's go back over here. So, basically, we, in this question, we would be given an array and we need to print the leaders for the given array. Now, what are the leaders? There are some conditions, okay? So, the first condition for a leader is the greatest value, okay? So, the greatest number in the given array would be the leader. That's the first condition. Now, the second condition is that the rightmost elements rightmost elements are the leaders okay so according to these two conditions we can clearly see that 17 is the leader right because it is the greatest element other than that 5 and 2 are the rightmost elements due to which they are also leaders so i hope the question is clear to you now let's solve it okay so how to solve it let's go over here let's scroll a little bit up okay let's read the question first Given an array A of positive integers, your task is to find the leader in the array. An element of array is leader if it is greater than or equal to all the elements to its right side, okay? The rightmost element is always a leader. I hope the question is clear to you and we would code it over here, okay? So, let's start, okay? So, let's start, enter. First, maximum value is 0, right? Initially, when I have not done anything, initially max is 0, okay? After that, I am creating an empty list for the leaders, okay? Enter. Now, I need to traverse the entire array for item in reversed of what? Reversed array. Now, basically, I know that the rightmost element is a leader, right? That is why I am going in a reversed order, okay? Enter. Now, if, one minute, not this should not be capital, if item, okay, is greater than equal to max, okay, that means if the last value itself is the maximum value, okay, then what you can do is, you can leaders dot append, you need to add it, in what you need to add it, in your leaders empty list, right, enter, and then you need to make max equal to item, okay, that's the item enter basically first you are traversing from the reverse side and you are you know taking the last element as the maximum value and then you are comparing it with one by one with all the remaining elements you are doing this so that you find the you need to find the maximum element once you find the maximum value that is already in the leader right so you are adding whatever value you find maximum in the present moment in the leaders array okay array or list you can say that okay now, basically, let's go back. Now, you need to return with what? You need to return with reversed. Reversed of what? Reversed order of leaders. Why the reversed order of leaders? Because initially, we have reversed array also, right? That is why the reversed order of leaders. So, that they come in the correct order. Now, I need to check if my solution is correct or not. So, I would click on compile and run. Let's wait. Okay. Compilation is taking place. Compilation is completed. 
okay so basically you can clearly see my output is matching with the expected output so now i would submit the given problem okay so let's wait let's see problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve practice problem leaders in array now let's move to the second question okay one minute let me close this okay now the second problem that we have for today is maximum toys okay so basically second problem is maximum toys let's take an example to understand it okay so this is the example one minute so array we have an array one minute let me write the value so that we can understand the question okay just one minute okay okay now it's done let's understand the question one minute okay now here is the question basically n is the value basically the question name is maximum toys and n over here is depicting the number of elements in an array now in total i have 50 rupees okay let's take an example i have 50 rupees and in this 50 rupees i need to buy maximum number of toys okay now the price of the toys are stored in a array okay so you can clearly see in the array i have values like 1 12 5 111 200 1000 and 10 now basically the simplest logic right now is remove the values that are greater than the money that i have right basically if i only have 50 rupees as the spending limit i cannot buy this 111 rupees toy right or i cannot buy this 200 rupees toy or i cannot buy this 1000 rupees toy right so let's discard these values now the remaining values are 1 12 5 and 10 right these are the four remaining values now if you see clearly the sum of these values okay so the sum of these values are 15 and 13 that gives you 8 and this is 28 so basically the sum itself is 28 right so basically you have in total 50 rupees and if you buy all the four toys that you have right now you would only spend 28 rupees right that means buying four toys right now the maximum toys are in your budget right so basically your output would be four why because from the given array you can buy four toys okay so this is the question i hope the question is clear to you now let's move forward to the solution part one minute okay okay here is the question let's read the question first one minute okay the question is given an array of length n consisting cost of n toys and an integer k depicting the amount with you your task is to find maximum number of toys you can buy with k amount i hope the question is clear to you and we would code it over here okay so let's code the question now one minute okay so the first step is i would sort the array okay it would make it easier for me to work with it now initially the count is zero right initially i don't know how many toys i can buy right then i am applying a for loop for i in range of what in range starting from zero that is the first element and going to the end enter now if circular brackets one minute array i is less than or equal to k that is the amount the spending amount that we have been given okay then you can add that toy in your basket right you can add that a uh, toy because you can buy it right and because you are buying that toy you need to decrease that amount from the total amount right because you are buying that toy so that means k equal to k minus array i okay enter now once i have found the toys which i can buy i can just return with the value of count right so backspace backspace return with what return with the value of count now i need to check if the solution is correct or not so i would click on compile and run let's wait let's see okay compilation is completed and basically my output is matching with the expected output so now i would submit the given problem let's see one moment okay it's taking some time but we need to wait okay the problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem maximum toys okay give me one minute 
सो गाइज आई होप दिस सेशन वॉज हेल्पफुल फॉर यू वेर वी यू नो प्रैक्टिस सम ऑफ द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट एंड यू नो वी सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम दैट वुड हेल्प यू यू नो इन प्रैक्टिसिंग फॉर द अपकमिंग बाय विजिट टूर्नामेंट फाइव पॉइंट ओ गाइज मेक श्योर यू रजिस्टर फॉर इट बिकॉज इट्स अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी टू विन प्राइजेज बाय शो केजिंग योर कोडिंग नॉलेज एंड स्किल्स एंड इट इज़ ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स जुलाई सिक्स पी एम टू सेवन थर्टी पी एम एंड आई होप यू रजिस्टर फॉर इट थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मी टूडे एंड आई होप यू हैव इन्जॉयड टूडे सेशन If you have enjoyed today's session make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining me today thank you